it's natural day back with you guys again with another video as you can see today i am going to be doing bantu knots on stretched natural hair my hair is currently blow dried i did a blowout and then i blow dried it to get it kind of extra a little extra straight so that i can trim my ends so now that that is done i'm gonna try to style it up a little bit so i can stop walking around looking like lion king in doing my bantu knots today i'm going to be using melanin Aha! super excited i haven't used these products before so hoping they do some justice for my head but if they don't i'm gonna need to wash it soon anyway but let's stay positive here right sections in the back. Well, they're pretty big. Gonna start off the leave-in conditioner. This is honestly probably too much, but... And then I'm gonna do the twist elongating cream and top it off we're sealing all that moisture with the pure oil blend oh my gosh to do the pan too much You're gonna start twisting. You don't start at the root because as you twist down, it gets tighter. And then as you start to actually make the bantu knot, you'll feel that it actually starts to get really tight at the root. Just twist around. And Tuck it. If your hair won't tuck, you can use bobby pins. One down, many more to go. section is gonna be three in the middle we do I'm so happy with this hair y'all like my hair is really grown since I cut it and it's like well duh your hair grows when you cut it but like <laughs> y'all <sighs> it's just such a good feeling
not to be like really tight to scalp. Um, here's how you do it. So don't worry about um, twisting all the way to the end. Just get some done and then start making your knot. And you're going to just continue to twist as you get further. Anybody that knows me knows that I have no shame in my game walking out with my head like this. But it's late. I'm about to go lay it down. So to bed all I do is throw on a bonnet and take my bed to sleep. I'm gonna let this sit overnight and I will take it out tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Hey y'all, so it is next morning um, and I am here to take down my hair. Um, some of my Bantu knots did get a little loose throughout the night. So I had just like got up this morning and went ahead and like retwisted them and bobby pinned them again. But they all seem to be pretty much intact. So I'm going to get this show on the road. <laughs> I'm going to start off by removing all the bobby pins on my head. bobby pins start getting old and they start to like start to stick up and it start pulling your hair no no time for some new ones i'll go get some today if i can so after that i'm just gonna go ahead and start to unravel them the opposite way that i twisted them one of the keys for this style too is to make sure you do not um, take them out damp like you have to make sure your hair is completely dry um, for this hairstyle <laughs> look at that bounce though y'all <laughs> okay okay All right, so got them all down. Next step, go ahead and take your oil. I'm gonna use the melanin oil blend again. Get your hair nice and oiled up. I like to just go over them real quick and hold. And then start by with each section and I don't have a clip so bear with me just separate where you can wherever you want to just separate as much as you want I like to twist the ends because it helps keep them um like curly in a way oh I'm so thankful uh I'm so happy that I trimmed my ends before I did this because they would have been looking crazy. So I start off pretty big and then kind of, did y'all see the way that just and kind of just work your way into small sections and it's going to fall and just look beautiful. So like being that it's uh, stretched out hair, you're not going to like see um, where your hair should separate with like compared to when it's in its natural state and it's super curly. Um, I'll show you guys that in another video.
already said that this side of my hair is um got some heat damage so as you can see like the ends they're kind of some of them are kind of straight compared to this side where you don't really see the straight ends and that's just because this side has some damage to it um i'm not really big on baby hairs y'all because my baby hairs are stupid so i ain't even gonna trip about those right now but let me give y'all the 360 real quick before i go ahead and tell y'all how i feel about it y'all i can't even complain like this is probably the first time i've done a bantu not out in a long time i think the last time i did it was probably the day i got married I think, I think the last time I did it, I think I did Bantu Nights today, I got married. I'm not even positive. I was pregnant, you girl, high pregnancy brain. It's super bouncy, as you can see. And let me tell you about this moisture in my head, y'all. My hair is so soft and it is so moisturized. Like, I'm over here like rubbing it like, bro, what the heck did I put in my hair? That melanin hair care, I cannot lie. That stuff did some justice on my head. And the product smells so good, but like, even through my bonnet last night, it like seeped into my pillow. And so I'm like, I was like, what is that? Them products smell bomb. So let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle. If you guys want to see like how was my progress during the week or whatever, I'm probably only going to wear it like this for a couple days. Uh, we'll see. But can't complain about the results that I have with this hairstyle. Despite, you know, my little straight ends over here, I can't complain. I, I love it. It's super moisturized. It's super soft. It's super bouncy. <laughs> it's super bouncy. <laughs> Y'all. Okay. I love it. So, let me know what you guys think. Give me that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.